Okay, so here we are in Xcode. Um, we're just going to be working with the program we worked with last time, the budget object. So go ahead and jump into budget.h, and we're just going to be modifying this spend dollars method. That's the only one we're going to be modifying uh, right now, just to get the hang of NS number a little bit. So we have to specify that this uh, dollars argument is now going to be uh, NS number. So that's the type instead of uh, dollars or instead of double, excuse me. So do the same thing in this method declaration here. And then, of course, like I said, because uh, when you're using arguments and this NS number, you have to specify what uh, value it is because all the compiler has been told is that this is just an object. It hasn't been what type of or what the type is within this NS object. So you have to say double value there. So all done with uh, budget.m. Now jump into uh, budget underscore object dot m. And we're going to convert uh, number dollars in Europe and number dollars in England to objects. So NS number percent, or not percent. Don't know why I said that. Asterisk uh, number dollars in Europe equals. Now this is an NS number object, so allocate memory for it. Then initialize with the double value of 100. Now do the same thing, comment it out and then retype it. So this is an NS number object. The name is number dollars in England. Allocate memory for this NS number object and then initialize it with the double value of 100. Now we don't need to do any uh, work here with uh, saying this is a double value it knows that it's just when you're working with arguments in NS log that you have to specify that and when you're converting it obviously so now I'm going to show you how you can convert um, this NS number object to uh, different types so first we're going to create a little number called my number equals NS number object allocate memory initialize with the double value of 107.2 59. Now we're going to do three NS logs here. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, the first one, we're going to just say my number as is equals percent dot two f, and we're just going to put my number and we're going to see what happens. We're not going to say what type of value it is. And then my number as a double equals percent dot two f. But this time we're going to say that my number is a double value. And then this last one, uh, and a slug. We're going to say my number as an integer equals percent i. Well, it's been a long time since we used that uh, percent i there. And then in brackets, my number int value. And close it off with that semicolon. So we're going to see what all happens here. So we can go ahead and build and run. Save all. Oh, now. I actually made a typo here. I put the semicolon before the parenthesis. So now we can build and run again. Save all. And now everything built and ran correctly. Now, up here at the top, as you can see, everything came out the same as before. So that NS number uh, in there works fine. Now, down to the stuff below. Um, when we didn't specify what it was, 
if it was a double value or an int value it was just zero because we didn't specify we have to specify so when we say that it's a double value it comes out as 107.59 and when we say that it's an integer it comes out as 107 so as you can see that conversion here works fine perfectly fine so there's a tutorial on the ns number object and using numbers as objects in objective c now as i said earlier um next lesson we'll be going over arrays uh lesson after that uh, different types of arrays and everything so great stuff coming up be sure to check out uh, previous lessons you may have missed be sure to subscribe rate comment all that great stuff and of course, thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. And one last thing I actually forgot to go over, that is a documentation because I cannot go over every object in Objective-C, obviously. And I can't even go over every little thing about NS object. So that's when documentation comes in very handy. You just go to help and then developer documentation and then you just type in whatever you're curious about so you can type in let's say ns number and search and here is all the information about ns number and here it's from ns value and its object you can see what it conforms to framework when uh availability what's it available in uh a lot of stuff you can see the overview then here are those all the different uh, factory methods and then uh, all the init with so you can see exactly everything it can initialize with um, just a lot a lot of information in this documentation so you can see uh, it goes in detail about each and every one of uh, the number with double number with float all that stuff it really goes in a lot of detail so be sure to check out the developer documentation you need to look at that a lot to really get familiar with the different objects and everything um, just go to Xcode and preferences to add different uh, documentation so if you wanted to get let's say this Mac OS X documentation you just hit get and then I'll begin downloading so just wanted to go over that uh, before uh, I ended the lesson but I think I'm all done now so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next lesson